Hi everybody, today I have the Sowo Sound Boom 2. I was very excited to try this because I'm a big fan of the Sowo Soundwave Pro. But I have to admit, the Sound Boom 2 and I got off on the wrong foot. The very first song I tried was I Want to Be Your Man by Roger. And it sounded awful, so bad. I thought, oh, this, this can't be right. So I tried a different song, not quite as bad, but still not good. Another song, still not good. And then I realized I had an equalizer on my phone. And so I, I took that off. And then the outlook got better. But not great. It's got a 2,500 milliamp hour battery and is supposed to provide 16 hours of playback on a four hour charge. That's great. That's the kind of performance I'm looking for. It has 25 watts of power, which is more than enough for most situations. It has the requisite RGB lighting, of course, which you can shut off if you don't like it, and the oh-so-popular speakerphone feature. And if you see this thing dripping on my pants, it's because it also claims IP67 waterproof certification. That means it can withstand a depth of three feet for 30 minutes before failure. And if they're going to claim that, I'm going to test it. I threw this in a sink full of water, held it down with weights and hit play. And it did last for, well, honestly, it started to signal trouble after about five, six minutes or so. And then it completely failed at the 20 minute mark. So I will dispute that this is IP67 certified. This speaker is designed to float on top of the water, which is not what certification for IP67 means, but it still would give you some, certainly some water resistance. It floats with the speaker side up, so if you did drop it in the water, you could still enjoy the music. Say you brought this uh, tubing or boating or... I don't know if you'd bring the swimming, but you let's say you did that. You threw this in the water, it was floating on top, you could still enjoy your music. Normally, I would expect a speaker to float with the electronic controls and the ports floating up top to protect them. But that's not what happened. Uh, and maybe it's just that these are so well protected they do not worry about that. But something failed, um, which is too bad. I will note that underneath this cover, it does seem to be dry in the port area, your Type-C charging port and your 3.5 millimeter line in port is protected by this rubber cover, and it seems to have done a good job. And of course, these buttons are sealed the way that they normally are in a waterproof speaker. So what exactly caused this to fail? I don't know. It just did. It started, uh, kind of got staticky, and then it seemed like the antenna was having trouble picking up things, and then it just failed altogether. And then I pulled it out of the sink, took the dog for a walk, turned it back on, and it did power up. And, uh, but I, I can't connect to this right now. But I, I do suspect that once this dries out, it will work just fine again. So I don't think this is permanently damaged, but I just, I expected more from Sowo. When you hear the name Sound Boom 2, I think you expect massive bass. And no, you're not going to get that. There is some amount of bass and certain kinds of bass. It does, it's rated for 80 hertz to 20 hertz. And I did test with a, a frequency sweep and that did seem to be true. In fact, I thought it started working at 50 hertz, but they say 80, so maybe my test was wrong. Um, but it just, there. I don't know if this had some resonance frequency issues or what was going on, but some songs just didn't sound good. Uh, and it's it's got these uh, passive radiators on both sides here. And I, I think that they help. And it, it does have an offset here, so you can set it on a flat surface and it will still give you some pressure relief on that uh, passive radiator. Um, 
but there's the speakers are, are on this side and I just some song sounds fine and I don't really understand what's going on um like uh Adele Adele sounded fine uh, so it's it's basically songs that live in the mid-range sound fine and even provide a uh it it seems like uh I don't know if I can make this a, a vast generalization, but for my test, it seems like bass guitar sounds good, bass drums don't sound good. And and uh, that's very anecdotal, I realize that. Um, but uh, what else sounded good? Uh, Chemical Brothers, Fall Out Boy, um, folk music sounded good, uh, Curly, uh, the Killers, Lady Gaga, uh, even, uh, I was surprised, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right, Kerwin Dubois, um, it's uh, some, like, uh, Caribbean-style music. I thought that sounded fine, and that has quite a bit of bass in it. But just weird things didn't sound good. Uh, like, Melanie Martinez was borderline. Uh, Ultravox sounded bad. Uh, Michael Franti didn't sound good. I just, I, it's, I can't, I can't predict what's going to sound good on this. And so I would say that I, I th for some people, they will hear this speaker and think it sounds great, but other people will just go, what? So, <laughs> I don't know how to recommend this. Uh, I, if you, there's no there's no way I would buy this speaker if I'm listening to hip hop or techno. It's just too risky. Um but if you're if you're a fan of 60s music, any, anything 60s and back, uh 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, <laughs> all that that stuff would be fine. Um probably classic rock would be fine too. But I think once you get into the 80s and 90s, you're really taking a gamble. And it's just not, I just can't recommend this after it's, and, and unless you fall in one of those categories, I just, no. So I'm, I'm going to give this a three out of five stars just because I can't predict what it's going to be. I, I can't predict your experience and it makes me uncomfortable. I don't, I don't want to recommend anything that I I don't believe in. I would really consider the Soundwave Pro. That's this this is much better. I I'm sorry. I just I wanted to like this a lot more and I just don't. 3 out of 5 stars. Thanks for stopping by.